we're just waiting on Zach. He's running a little bit late. He's having some technical difficulties. He's not late. He's just having some technical difficulties. So we're just waiting for him to fix, fix those issues and then he'll join us as soon as he's ready. So I just wanted to let you guys know, thank you for joining us. Remember today we are raising money to feed the hungry, infected and those affected by this pandemic. So please don't forget to donate. It's going to be the Guardians, Guardian Neediest Cases Fund. And uh, you'll see the link in the description box. You can click on that or you can go to the Proper Eats um, page where you would find the button to donate. I'm really thankful. And I wanna say hello to everyone who has joined us. And um, hi, hi, Santa Ryan, hi, Yolande, all of my followers. Thank you guys for joining. You see, um, I'm so thankful to have you all that you all have me tearing up, right? <laughs> um, so I wanna say hello to everyone, Michelle, Anne-Marie, Ruby, Jama, everyone who is watching. Can you guys please donate? Even if it's something small, a little bit goes a long way and it's gonna help feed a lot of families that really need it at this time. So I hear my doorbell, but I can't go, I can't go get it. So um, Sherry Ram Logan, I'm sorry that we ran a little bit late. So, you know, sometimes you encounter these technical difficulties and we try to, we try to fix it. Hello. Hi. So we have Zach. He's here. Finally. Yes. I, I was telling them you're not late. You're there. We're just having some technical difficulties. We are we on training time a little yeah. bit yeah sorry about that guys but Welcome to we are here so i am using my laptop yes i don't know why my phone decided to give a lot of trouble it didn't want to let me hear you guys but at least we're on now mm -hmm. um right Woo. just lost my charger and if anyone who is cooking along with us remember when you're finished please take a picture of what you made and post it and tag at Proper Eats and Zach and myself. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna see how it's looking. I'm looking forward to this wallop. Yes, and also we want to thank our sponsor, Amco Eats and Treats, for the French sauces that we'll be using in today's episode. Yes, yeah, so some lovely sauces we have there. Maybe yes. it's important. Yeah, right, right. Right, so I just organized an extension code here. When we'll move to my table, so you have everything sprawled out there already. I'm also prepared. So I'm moving from here then to the stove. Oh yeah, and I have a little I have a little distance to cover. So is anyone but, cooking cooking along with us? Hi Kelly, hi Jason, hi Kathy, hi Sherry. Oh, I, need, I need a big one for your charger. I really appreciate everyone joining us today. And please remember to donate. I'll keep reminding you guys to donate because this yes. is for charity. Yep, this is for a charitable cause. So we have to... And anyone who's watching and you need help, all you have to do is email or direct message the Proper Eats page oh, on Instagram okay. or on Facebook if you need any assistance. So just give me one second. Let me finish setting up here because I, I didn't have my laptop configured for anything and it was kind of dead no problem i want to say hello to andrea michelle asha betty sankar Renata, yes. Beverly. so, so i think say, i am a bit zach. mobile now Gemma mills says good evening zach hi Gemma. good evening hi savvy thank you for tuning in we look i'm looking forward to this because i didn't have lunch today to be honest with you so i'm really looking forward to this because i'm real hungry okay what you so. You're waiting a very long time to eat. Yeah, I, I had a late breakfast, so we could compensate. Okay. Right, so I think I'm all set. I have majority of my stuff here. I didn't really prepare. Let me get a board, chopping board. Right. So get I've, one to chop the vegetables and get one to chop the chicken. Two, right, two different. So two different boards. I have... My wife is assisting me here. You can say hi to Nandi. Hi. How are she's you? Not really, she's not thank, really. Thank you for being our sous chef. Well, I have on my headphones, but she said thank you for being the sous chef. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. So, right. We, oh, so everyone is asking what we're cooking. We're going to be cooking a 
barbecue chicken wallop. And of course, if you wanted to make this with pork, you can, but pork takes longer. So hence the reason why we're doing chicken and then everyone has access to chicken readily available. Yeah, exactly. Right, so I have my boards. Just have to get my big knife. A chef knife. I'm putting on a yeah. glove. Oh, I don't, I don't have any gloves, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, why are you so fancy for? Um, because I want to season the chicken, so I want to go in with my hands too. But you use your hands. I'm oh, just okay, all right, all right. All right, all right, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Well, let me get the measuring spoons, please, from the jar. Right. Thank you guys so, for joining. Please remember to donate. The link will be in the description. I've never had this this wallop before, to be honest with you. Oh, so, okay. Um, I'm curious to, to, to try it and see what exactly it turns out like. Okay. Um, I assume, so you had it from, um, from South Pork. South Pork already. Yeah. So this way you have the inspiration from yes. to have it going. Okay. So you've Seems never had it. Well, I know, I know. You wouldn't I don't do. know if they do chicken or any other meats like that. I know they do pork and I, I never really ventured. Yeah. Um, so I can't really say. But you know but, what's going to make this really special? You see these um, these sauces that we have, the ketchup and stuff? Yeah. This is what's going I to have make mine, this. My two yeah. here. It's going to take re- it over the top. If you realize these are um, free from high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, like, it is. No, I no know preservatives. artificial flavors. So it's like oh, pure tomato ketchup. Really good. So thank you to French's and Amco. So are we ready? Yes, I would say so. I have pretty much everything that I need. Uh, my chicken breast, I just have them in the fridge here. I had, oh. Because we're going to um, start with a chicken breast. So you can take that out. We're going to season. It's going to be a really quick season. It's not going to have time to marinate because we're live. Right. So. Okay. We'll just season it and cook it. Um, All right, just like give me one one second. Let me run to the fridge to get it. Okay. Get it. So, guys, in the meantime, I want to say thank you again to Amco for sponsoring these French's products. And uh, thank you to all of you all who have joined. And um, please remember, if you can donate, I would love if you all do that. Um, It will go towards helping a lot of families in need at this time. Hi, Pamela. Hi, GMC Air, Melissa, Shannon, uh, Cindy, Chris, Krista. Hi, Alicia. So we I really appreciate really, we really appreciate you guys joining, and right. and if you do donate while we're live, just tell us so we can yeah, thank you all. Um, hello you hear me right i'm ready when you're ready yes i am so i'm gonna i'm gonna tilt this down so everyone can see what i'm doing well i'll do the same see all right have everything there two pieces of chicken breast it's about one and a half pounds wow yours look real nice so mine look real butchered well, you had to take the bone out. That's why these kids. Yeah, yeah. Are I the bone. Had to, yeah, the professionals did those, but I had to debone these myself. So this is where we had. So that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Chinese seasoning salt. Right. So I have. If you are living in the US, I have a recipe for this on my channel that I recently posted. And I'm going to go in with about two teaspoons. If the chicken breast is big, when I'm I, I'm eyeballing it, um, if the chicken breast is big, you can add more. So you're having two teaspoons in there? Yeah. All right. Let me get my measurement spoons. So two teaspoons. We're making barbecue chicken wallop, everyone. All right, so we're going in with two teaspoons there, and then we're what, we rub, rubbing that in? Yeah, and I'm also going to go in with a little bit of soy sauce, and I'm using dark soy sauce for this. So if you're using dark, go light on it, and if you're using light soy sauce, well, you can, you can put about a teaspoon. So just a little drizzle. 
So just a little, 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 little bit. So yeah, I have, I think I have dark one as well. So yeah, this dark one can be really, really strong. It's going very gentle, right? Woo. Right. I think we're good to go there. You just want to give it a little color. So if you put it and you mix and you find it so white, you can add a little more. Right. I got you. It yeah, seems to be developing a nice color. Yeah. So I'm just using my hands and just massaging it in because we're going to be, oh, let's put up our stove with our frying pan to heat so we can cook these chicken breasts. We're going to cook them halfway. All right. Well, let me just get off here. Give me one second. Sure. Annie. So guys, this is really easy. Right. And once you have everything hands. prepared, it cooks really quickly also. Wallop. So <laughs> I wouldn't say I know what wallop means because I did not ask the person who I'm taking inspiration from for this recipe, which is salt pork. They sell opposite um, Price Plaza in Shagwanas. They make this dish and they call it a wallop. And basically what it is, is cooked meat and they do it with pork. And you have fries and tons of aromatics all tossed with delicious um, sauces. And that's what you call a wallop. Natasha, can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. I just switched over to a speaker, so it's a little bit too much screen. Okay. Right. So we... um. I'm moving. Right, so I don't have a fan now. How much, how much oil am I going to with the pan? About a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the camera over to there. Okay, as a little distance. Yeah. Just waiting for the, the pan to come up to temperature. Right. What we're basically doing is we're just stirring the outside. It will halfway cook because when we go to put the wall up together, it will cook again. So it will finish cook in the wok. Right. I got you. Can you see me? All right. I can see your stove, yeah. All right, great. So I'm still waiting for this to warm up as well. So guys, remember um, to check in the description box for that link to donate. Please donate. It will come from Zach and, Zach and myself because that will be what we raised today. And you can always donate. Even if we're not on a live, you can always donate yep. on a normal day. Any day, 24-7. Yeah. Um, Mandy, the feed is not live on their page. It's here on um Facebook and it's also on YouTube. And the recipe was just posted in the description in the comment section. So you guys can um check it out. I think my oil is hot. Yeah. I'm hot. I'm going in, Zach. Are you ready? Um, I am almost there. I just need a little bit more heat on my oil. And I okay. Well, I'm going to go in. I don't want the oil to burn, okay? Yeah, yeah you go ahead. Yeah, that's the guys. And we're going to allow this to cook and get slightly brown before we flip it for the other side to cook. So I'll see about a minute and a half on one side and then flip it. I just dropped in. You can see it there. Let's see if I can get it. Someone is saying I'm not seeing the link to donate. So what will do, Ryan? Send Ryan to go post it again. Right, so there it is. That's the link to the new size. How are you looking, Zach? 
Yeah, we go in. And I just flip right after you because I finished. I, um, I finished. About a minute, a minute. I think your chicken breast is pretty small because you did it yourself. Yeah. So let it go a minute on each side. These chicken breasts I have here are really plump. Yeah, I can see that. Fill up your pan. Thank you. So this will be our dinner. That's a nice color, you guys can see. Seems to be getting a nice color. I just give it a, a couple of seconds again and then I'll put Okay. So, how many of you all are intrigued by this recipe and are excited to try it then? Are we going straight to the chopping board with this after? Yeah, but we'll let it cool down a little bit. Yeah. No problem. I think I'm going to take my small piece out. Yeah. That might be ready to come off. I probably should have cut the chicken breast in half to make sure it's cooked faster. That's something you can do, like how the chicken breast is really plump and thick. Just butterfly it into a half and then cook it. It'll cook faster. Right? Well, as I said, it'll cook. It'll also cook in the um in the in the water. Pan when we do it, when we do it, yeah. Someone says they're not hearing clearly. That's because that's because of all of the noise from this. Yeah, too much noise from the pan. Yeah. I think I'm gonna move back the computer a little bit. Let's see though hear me clearly. Tell me guys if you are hearing me a little bit better now. I yeah, was really better. close. A lot better now. Okay, yeah, I was really close to the stove, so you were getting the, the noise from the stove. So one piece of chicken is finished, and um, I just have another piece cooking. Bigger one. Right to actually cooking as well. Okay, I'm going to have some water. So Natasha, how long have you been cooking now? I know you, I, since um, I've, I've been a lot younger, I've been looking at, I wouldn't say how old I am. <laughs> but I know I've been looking at your videos on YouTube. Oh, okay, that's nice. Um, I actually, on YouTube, this is going to be my fifth year, and I've been cooking from small girl, about 11, 12. Right. Wow. Okay. Just give you guys a view of what... What did you do? I was just giving a view of what um, a chicken breast was looking like. Oh, I'm gonna take mine off now. I'm gonna take mine off too. It's still gonna be kind of um, it's gonna be raw in the center, guys. Don't worry about that. Um, you don't want to overcook the chicken breast or cook it completely because what happens is you're gonna cook it again and then it's gonna get really, really tough and dry. See, guys, this is what it looks like when it's halfway cooked, finished cooked. Has a nice color. The Chinese seasoning really gives us a nice brownish. Yeah. Um, very nice coating on it. So let's just leave it to sit a little bit. And uh, what we could do is in the meantime, let's chop up the veggies. No problem. I'll get that over. That oil splattered everywhere. 
Okay, so let's see who is here with us. Remember to please donate, please, 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 please. We appreciate it. Or also, um, for those of you all who donate, Amco is going to match our donations, which is so good because it helps so much more people. That's really good to hear. So let me tilt. All right, so what are we tackling first? Oh, let's put this aside. Hi. 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 So that would be my, that would be my son you're hearing. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, it's nice. nice. <laughs> you can identify nice. He is so adorable. Yes, and he loves nice. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's start okay. by chopping up pimento peppers. All right. Any specific way we want them? I like to julienne them. So julienne just means in strips. All right. And I actually have frozen pimento peppers because when I get them, I freeze them so they last me a long time. Mm. Well, we're fortunate enough here to be able to get it. Yeah. Because sometimes we don't always get it here in Florida. And there's only one place that sells it. So, so do you all get a lot of um, local produce up there or is it kind of scarce? No, where I in um Broward, tons of produce. That's the good thing about Broward. You don't really miss much of the product from here, so you can get all the snacks and drinks and whatever. Yeah, we get all the snacks, all the drinks, and then when I travel, I tend to always bring back snacks because the snacks are a little bit more on the expensive side. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess exports cost some more. Yeah. Right, how many pimentos? Because I mean, I'd like oh. five here. So let me tell you the thing about this dish, right? You can put as much as you want. So, okay. like, I want tons of scallions or scythe, as we say in Trinidad. Right. So you don't have to put this amount. You put how much you want. Because some people don't like a lot of veggies in their food. So right. I have, like, about eight peppers that I would put. So I did about five pimentos. Yeah, that, that's good. I love I love veggies, so I always tend to always put more than what the recipe would call for. I, I agree. I actually made a veggie soup yesterday with like everything that was in the fridge. Went yeah. to the soup. It had bodhi, cabbage, sweet potato, carrot, pumpkin, everything. Oh, sounds good. All right, so finish with my pimentos. Are you going to put any hot peppers in yours? Yes, I have a, a I think you call this the habanero pepper. Yes, yeah, scotch bonnet, habanero. Yeah, I have one of these here. I'm going to fill it up one time. I'm smelling mine to see if it's hot. It smells hot. I don't want to overdo it because we have to be, be careful because the baby would smell it and then start to cough. No, no, he, he's actually now going to bed. Oh, it's pretty it's early. It's better. Oh no, baby goes down early. So, I mean, that he can. Very nice. Wouldn't he wake up very early though? He gets up at um, six ish, six between six and seven. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hi, Sasha Lachman. Thank you for joining. Hi, Leela. Yeah, would. Um, okay, so let's do the onions next. Okay. I and love I love onions. I can eat them raw. I love onions, but they make me cry so bad. My my sister jokes around and say when I make like tomato choker, I don't make tomato choker, I make onion choker. <laughs> I love onions as well, but the after effects are brutal. Oh, I don't have any problems with onions to be honest. Yeah. And you can't be in anybody's face. Well, I mean, now you can't be in anybody's face either. But... Yeah. So how, speaking about that, how was, um, how was things up there? I know you are in the highest of risk 
environment right about now how is life around you so to it, speak? Uh, well i've been indoors most of the time but when i do go to go to get necessities and stuff the road is busy like packed with cars really? wow so you would wonder like wow where are all these people going but maybe they're going right where i'm going <laughs> so the groceries and and so so your your essentials are open um on a regular basis yeah every day um are we just julian and these as well yeah julian everything well i like to julian you can you can dice if you want to i, I prefer the julian i love onions as i said so i don't mind them like cool inside of there yeah actually we'll do the i'll do my sweet pepper next so. i actually don't like sweet pepper i'm still confident just no don't put it if you don't like it because that's the thing I with this like recipe the i like the flavor from it but i yeah. don't actually like it to eat it so like i love the flavor that it gives the dishes yeah but uh, i'm not a fan of actually eating this pepper now now my sound weird but it's just how it just how it goes okay right so onions are down break them apart here. So how's how's the guys who's following along going? Are you all faster than us? Um, how are you guys doing at home? Zach wants to know. We want to know how you all are doing. Um, if you're following along, please let us know. Annie, Annie, hi Annie. Annie's on the live. Thank you for joining. She doesn't hi. like to peppers also. Yeah. Hi, hi, Annie. Okay, so the last thing to chop would be the scallions. Right. And I know we have ginger in the recipe as well. Yeah. What we'll go, what we'll do is um I grate the ginger but I mince the, the garlic. So we'll mince the garlic after. Okay. Well, can I just try it in a food processor? Yeah. I'll get the food processor out. Right. Look how much talent and, and, I have because I just love the taste of halfway I have, cooked. Mm. I have some, but they're not, not that much. You guys don't forget to donate. This is all about a needy cause. Feeding hungry families. I mean, I know we had some essential services opening back up, like all our food um, branches are now back out. But um, it's just how it was before they actually shut them down. Is only take away or curbside pickup. Yeah. Which I am. I'm actually very surprised. Trinidadians adapted to it so quickly. Yeah. Our, our restaurants have. Made changes almost overnight to facilitate delivery and curbside pickup and these things. Yeah, and I really hope that people continue like after this entire thing is over, they continue to wash their hands and practice this. Yeah, proper hygiene is is not just because of a pandemic. It's it should always be practiced. Exactly. So I am actually going to use only half of a sweet pepper in this because. No problem. You know what I find is nice? You see the, the baby sweet peppers? They have a milder, nicer taste. Have you ever tried them? I don't think so. If it names sweet pepper, I don't really venture around it. Sweet pepper and corn. Thank you, Andrea. See you. Thank you for joining. I can hear my son making noise upstairs. <laughs> Running up and down. Right, so I did half my sweet peppers. Yeah. This board looking nice and pretty. Show me on the board. Yeah. Look at all those veggies. So nice. So colorful. So I just grated my ginger. Right, so let me get the pizza. So that's it. We have all of the veggies prepped. Okay. Yeah. And you have your fries? 
Yes, I did my fries and I ate them. about half of them already. I'm trying not to eat any. So guys, we have our fries. We did fry them ahead of time. You, I like using um store-bought fries because it holds up for this recipe. If you were to fry your own, it gets very, very mushy. So I always recommend this. And I go for the crinkle cut because it, the ridges in there holds a lot of the sauce. But if you like straight cut, that's no problem also. I actually got the crinkle cut as well. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, like Camille. So we have... We have joining us, um, here, I got a, got a brain fart. Hi, Camille, and I forgot the girl's name. Camille. Food fanatic. Fanatic, yes. Yes. Hi, Shanti. Camille, don't forget to donate, please. Hi to everyone who's on. I, I can't see who's on, but hi. So someone says, Nadia says, I'm in Orlando and to find stuff, you have to drive like an hour and the roads are dead. So they just started lifting the lockdown by phases. Oh. There's a place in Orlando, a Caribbean super center that has everything. Wow. Yeah. I did a vlog there once and they're, they're like really, really huge. Really? Yeah. I, I, I've been to Orlando a couple of times. I have family living there, so been there a few times when i when we go up to orlando what i do is what i don't get down here i would stock it like buy enough of it and bring it back down with me right so i guess there's certain things that you will get there that you're really not getting at home there yeah like ketchup was something that we could never find in south florida um do you prefer to not ketchup oh i prefer oh no i prefer french's ketchup <laughs> how dare you the best ketchup Yes, the best ketchup. Now I stock. Now I stock French's ketchup. Yeah, updates. Time. But I actually like. I really like the taste of French's ketchup. Just ketchup and fries. I admit, I had um, I had some of this ketchup with not this bottle, another bottle I had with yeah. some of the fries earlier because as I said, I didn't have lunch, so yeah. while I was preparing, I just had some snacks. Annie says she feels less too much ginger. Um, yeah, we wouldn't use all of that. <laughs> we probably use about, let's use about two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of ginger. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually grate my ginger as yet. I'm not so what, oh, that's the garlic we're seeing. Yeah, this is garlic here. Yeah, so just like two teaspoons of the ginger. No problem. You can grate it on top of the garlic because it's still going together into the arm walk. You always peel your garlic, your ginger, by the way. Um, not all the time. Sometimes if I wash it and I put it away in the freezer and I'm ready to use it, I just grate it as is. Yeah. Because the skin is like so, so thin. Yeah, you don't really, um, and then I find most of the time it, it just kind of peels off on the top of the grater. Yeah. All right, so two teaspoons, just said. Someone says, no such thing as too much ginger. Trust me, if you put too much ginger in some recipes, it tastes really, really, really bad. That, that reminds me of a, 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 a joke. Uh, this weekend, my son and I were making, he's, he's only a year and a half, so we were making a smoothie, and there was a piece of ginger on top of the counter, um, just randomly laying there. And he, was, he gets to put everything into the blender to make the smoothie. So he was putting um, the bananas and the blueberries and peeling blueberries and stuff. And I turned my back for a second and I didn't realize he threw the ginger in, into the blender as well. So when I finished with the punch and I tasted the punch, I was like, this is peanut butter with ginger and bananas. <laughs> and it actually tastes pretty good, yeah. surprisingly. It was actually pretty good. So Someone is saying that there's poison ginger in Trinidad. This yeah, so, so apparently there, there's some sort of poisonous ginger um, that's... Like um, a wild ginger? Like, no, I, I believe somebody um, used it, they sprayed the ginger to plant and somebody stole that ginger that was supposed to be planted. Oh. Um, and they now selling it on the market because apparently it was a lot of ginger. But they okay. sprayed with a chemical that was meant to keep insects out and mm -hmm. they planted it, but it was not meant for consumption. Oh. So there, there's a little um, black mark. I, I can't believe I'm saying it. There's a black ginger market out there, clearly. That's scary. 
Yeah, but it's it's messing with people's health. It's very scary. Oh, cool. so someone is correcting me. The ginger is not poisonous. It was sprayed with a poison, which Zach just explained to me, so I did not know that before. <laughs> so who going to be scared to buy ginger now? <laughs> really? I think I had this ginger before this, so I, I think I'm I think I'm safe. I'll, I'll save this until some time passes by. Yeah, I'm going to bring over the chicken so we can cut that up. Right. Chicken, so I'm going to these off. Zach, is, the, is this the first time you're cooking? Does the wife usually cook? No, I cook. I um, I do a lot of cooking as well. I'm not, I'm not the greatest cook and I'm not, I get a little bit flustered every time that I have to um to cook. If it's like multiple things happening at once, then Thank I get you, Tara. Hi, Marlon. Hi, SJC Nielsen. She Hi. said, let's see if the price will drop. For the ginger. Oh, we'll wait and see. Okay, so let me right, so check in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna start cutting on a bias, or you can cut it up into cubes, however you wanna cut it, cut. And I go for I go for thin slices, like about a quarter of an inch. And we'll let we let the chicken rest. If it's still raw, don't worry. We'll make sure it's cooked before we add anything else in there. So mine, see, look. It's still raw in there. Yeah, I'm seeing that mine is um, a butcher in this chicken. Anymore. That Chinese seasoning smells so good. And guys, remember, I do have a recipe for it on my channel. Like, I put I put my Chinese seasoning in one bowl, my version, and then I put the store-bought version that I usually use. And I told my husband, taste and tell me which one you like the most. And he said he liked my one. Oh, yeah? Wow. But I didn't tell him it was mine. So I wanted his honest <laughs> opinion. Um, okay, so I'm finished with my chicken. Well, that, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, my chicken breasts are a lot smaller. I think I can uh, cut them half in size. <laughs> you still have a little bit of Chinese seasoning left over, right? Yeah, I have a lot. Okay, good. I was going to make mine a little smaller because I prefer to cook a little faster. Yeah. Like the thick pieces, I think I'll cut them into a half. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here as well. But everybody gets Thank cooking. you everyone for joining and staying on this live. I hope you all are enjoying our cooking. Yup, this is not so nice though with the Chinese seasoning. Yeah. Wait, when everything is hit, hits that wok and you smell all of the flavors. Unfortunately, I don't have a wok. I have well, a nice pan that will work. That would work well. You just need something big so you can, you know, toss everything in. Yeah, I have a nice um, deep pan. Get it out. I have a nice deep pan here. Yeah, that that's that looks perfect. So that looks just like a wok, like mine. It looks like a wok, but it's like similar. It's not yeah. Yeah, and it has a handle. This is a lot of chicken. I think I might do two sets. I'll do one set with you, and then when we're done, I'll do another set. Oh. I don't think I have that much chicken. I can probably give um drop some for my mother-in-law so she can get a taste. Right. I actually forgot to get mayo, believe it or not. Yeah, that's okay. Um, garlic sauce, sorry, garlic sauce. So I actually made my own garlic sauce here. I made, I made my own garlic sauce too. It's, it's not as runny as it should be, but that's all right. It could work. Thank you, Asala. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. So I'm moving back my screen so you guys can see.
Okay. So we're going into the walk now? Yeah, we're going to start. Right. To... So just give me a, one minute. Let me just relocate my camera and such. Yeah. And we'll move from there. One minute. So guys, let me just read some of your comments in the meantime while Zach is getting ready. Yeah, I just need to move out the whole thing. Someone said three, 437 people on this live and only 35 shares. Come on, guys, share the live so that other people out there can see it and they can donate. Mm. How to make the garlic sauce, um, Christine, it's mayo, some white pepper, sugar, um, white vinegar, a little bit of milk. Um, you can put bandania or pimento also in it and blend it. And you're looking for a slightly runny consistency. Yeah, I didn't put much... Um milk in my hands might didn't really get such a runny consistency yeah and i think um i'm not sure if the garlic recipe is also linked down below of course natasha you must have a garlic sauce recipe right yes not natasha if you don't have a garlic sauce recipe the first time i did the recipe for the channel i put too much of milk and it came out a little bit runny but you could always fix that by adding some more mayo that's a good thing uh, okay all right, can you all see my pot there? I'm trying something here. Look, it looks really good. I, I can see it really well. All right, it's great. Um, Come on, guys, share the live. So I have my wok here on a I'm going to start on a low heat because I don't want to burn the garlic and the ginger. Always start on a low heat when you're going to sort it at garlic and ginger. Right, so I'm following you here, right? Right, so we're going to add some oil in the wok. So like about a tablespoon. I'm just mine was a little wet, so I'm just waiting for the um water to dry off. Okay. But you can go ahead if you like. I uh, I'll follow along. Okay, so Wendy, yeah. Wendy didn't miss much. We were we were basically chopping up veg and we just pre-cooked the chicken um halfway through. Now we're going to go into our wok with some ginger and garlic, and my wok is not hot as yet. And what will happen is that um heat as it starts to heat up it's going to make the garlic and ginger get very tender and very fragrant do you have you ever had like hong kong chicken or yeah hong kong chicken or hong kong tofu yes i have i want to say that this is a very similar just this is being doused in the sauces and if you make Hong Kong, it's not. It's basically the same recipe with all the sauces. Ah, okay. Are you guys enjoying the live? Please remember to share. Please remember to donate. Thank you again to Amco for donating these lovely French condiments that we'll be using, these sauces. I think I'm ready. Let me check. Okay, maybe not. Couple minutes again. So are you um, bored at home? Like people ask me if I'm bored at home, but Zach, you know me, I'm always doing a video. I'm always doing a recipe. So I'm like, I, I don't have the luxury of um, doing nothing. Yeah, I always have that. And then I wouldn't say I don't have the luxury. I could not do a video and not record. And, um, but I just love what I do. So I always have to do a video. Um, I, I think I'll get to your point at some point. Right now I just try to experiment first and then I'll post. 
Yeah. Because I've actually done things, you know, I mean, it's trial and error cooking. It's trial and error. Right, so again, some eat so out mine, mine, is, mine is now sizzling. Mine is at that point as well. So I'm going to let it sizzle for about a minute. And when you put that ginger and that um, garlic in the pot, it just smells like Chinese right away. Yeah, it smells so good. Thank you, um, Dolam. You guys have to try this. You all are going to love it. So once it starts to get tender and it's fragrant, don't let it get brown. We're going to go in with our pimento peppers and hot peppers. Just give it mine a couple of minutes. Yeah. So pimento and hot pepper. Ooh, that will run out of the kitchen with these hot peppers. <laughs> all right. And also go in with your sweet peppers. I like my vegetables tender crisp, but so I always tell people if you like it tender crisp, you don't cook it as much. If you like it soft, well, you know, you cook it to the consistency you would like. I like them nice and crispy, actually. Yeah. I feel like they, 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 they feel a lot more fresh. You yeah, guys see? Look at all of those colors. I know, right? Someone, thank you, Syra. I hope I didn't say your name wrong. She said, can't be bored, always cooking your recipes. Have me busy. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Marlon, we'll pound the pot. Oh, Marlon, want to do pump it? Pound the pot. Pound it. Yes. Yeah. So, one I start up. Yes. Yeah. You see how quick this recipe is going to, going to um, continue now because everything has been prepped. And once the peppers are nice and where you want it to be, we're going to go in with the onions. Right. And I'm using a combination of um, red and white. You, don't, you can use either or. I just like mixing it. Gotcha. This smells so nice. Yeah. And... Uh, just I like, like the onions to still have that crunch. I don't like it to be like all the way cooked. So, so let's add in our chicken. When you're done, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the veggies aside and I'm gonna add the chicken to this half of the pan because remember the chicken is raw, right? Yeah. Well, halfway cooked. It's right, so we're not really cooking the onions that much. No. By, yeah, but by the time we put in the chicken and we toss it, you'll see that it's because it's chicken breast, it's going to cook pretty fast. So I'm just mixing it on the side here a little. Right, so let me get into my chicken breast now. Am I, do I need to add any more oil? You, if, you, if you think you need it, you can. I'm going to start mixing everything together now. A bit and if I want to tell everyone who's watching, right? If you cut your chicken breast and you think it's really, really raw and it needs a lot of cooking, what I would do is put it with the ginger and the garlic first, let it cook, and then add in the veggies. My one was right where I needed to be, so once I finish tossing everything, it will be um properly cooked. And then I cut it. I cut it pretty thin, and I cut them into a half. I don't think mine was that thin, but I cut them in half, so this should be cooking nice. Now tell me if how nice it's smelling. It's so good. That Chinese food does make a big difference. Yeah, it does make a difference. And when we add the sauces, and I'm gonna check out with the added sauces, the French sauces. Yeah. See, look, my chicken is already almost cooked. Oh wow, um, I think I, I still have a little bit, mine was a little bit thicker cut than yours. Yeah, well you know what I do sometimes, like um, I would save some of the veggies and in the end when it's almost done, right. just to have that extra crunch from the veggies. You throw it on it. Throw it on it and then the heat, 
with just um, hit it and it will be like slightly cooked with that crunch. This smells so, so good. I guess those at home who are trying it will know exactly what we're talking about. Yes. You smell the peppers, the aromatic, that ginger, that garlic. If you um, know what Chinese, like original Trini Chinese smells like, that's the flavors that we're getting yeah. here. I'm just flipping my pieces of chicken because they were a little bit thicker, just trying to get them cooked on, on both sides evenly. No problem. They seem to be cooking fast. I need, I know I need to redo this recipe for the channel because I don't have this version on the channel. Oh yeah, well, know what to do. Yeah. You know what would be nice if we didn't put fries in this? You can have this with fry rice, this by itself. Yeah, that's an excellent dish with fry rice. I love, the fries, I, love, I love the fries idea. The fries gives us a nice little contrast of texture yeah. and flavor. And it, 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 it acts as, a, as like a sponge and just absorbs all the, the sauces and all the goodness from these sauces. Yeah. I'm going to taste a piece of my chicken to see how the salt is. Okay. It's just really good. Wow. So we, the Chinese season already has salt, so we don't really need to add much more. Yeah, that's water. why I didn't add any. Guess what I'm going to do, Zach? I'm going to cut up some extra onions to go on the top when this is finished. <laughs> I think I'm fine with my onions here. They get a nice and glassy. Okay. I told you, my sister tells me I make, I make onion choker when I make food. Because <laughs> I put so much onion in there. I'm ready for my sauces now. Now, if you taste yours and your chicken needs salt, at this time you'll add in some of that Chinese seasoning salt, but go light on it. You don't want to put too much. Right. And uh, so we're going to add in the sauces. You ready? Yeah, I believe so. I'm just making sure that my chicken is good. I just want to taste a piece now. Okay. Like you did. I'm a little bit behind you, but... That's okay. I'll wait. Whew. That's hot. So first, I'm going to go in with my barbecue sauce. Right, so I feel like I you ready. And my French is ketchup. So our French is barbecue sauce, our French is ketchup. And I'm adding in about half a cup of the barbecue sauce, half a cup of the ketchup. If you wanted less sauces, of course, feel free to add how much you would like. Right, so I think I'm ready to answer. Yeah. All right, so half a cup of barbecue sauce, of ketchup. No, your chicken is a little, right? So I think I, for you, I would tell you do about a quarter cup of each. Quarter cup of chicken? Um, Ketchup barbecue. and barbecue. All right. And now I'm going to throw my onion that I just chopped up, the extra. So if you know your chicken breast, they're small. You don't want to put too much of the sauce just to drown it. Right. I'm in there. So just stir everybody up. Yes, stir everybody up. Everybody see what this looks like. Hi guys, are you seeing? Look. Yeah. Hi Andy Chandra. Marlon said put two dashes of bitters. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't know how I feel about the bitters. Might bring out a little flavor here, yeah, never know. Maybe if we had seasoned the chicken with it. And I got some of it here. So do we try any fries now or yep. not yet? We're gonna try the fries now. So just throw in your fries. Now I'm gonna toss 
And you know, this I didn't add the scallions or the cyphers yet, right? Right. Because I like it to be at the end end when we finish mixing the fries. Right. And then we'll just pot one last time. My fries are totally coated with the sauces. And it smells amazing. Look at that, guys. It's in mine up, right? Look how amazing. And I'm going to, uh, now that it's mixed in, we're going to go in with the scallion. That's almost at the end. Yeah, so that saves some of the scallion to garnish when we plate them. Okay, no problem. Everybody seems to be nicely coated there. Yeah. So guys, and all you have to do, mix that scallion in. And don't be mixing crazy, crazy to match up the fries, right? You want to keep them intact. And that's it. I'm taking off my stove. Now, let's taste test one of the fries. Mm -hmm. You want to pick up some fries with onion and some peppers and scallions and a piece of chicken. You know the saying in Trinidad, when you eat from your mommy pot on your wedding day, it would rain. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> I can't say that I've heard that, to be honest. Yeah. Right, so I'm switching off as well. Okay, so now I'm going to taste. You guys, final, final result. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Right. Wow. You get a fork and taste it. Rock. Moment of truth. Moment of. Oh, this is hot. I oh, think it's me. How are you eating this already? I mean, this is steaming hot. <laughs> I'm a custom. <laughs> Clearly. So let me yeah, take some out. Put it on. Cool a little bit. Like for me, I think this needed more pep hot peppers. I put an entire hot pepper on. Trust me, I, when I tasted the chicken just now, the first thing I tasted was pepper before the salt. But so Zach, you see, I eat a lot of pepper and that one pepper wasn't enough for me. Wow. Wow. We can cook. So so while I'm creating that they can see. Look how, trying um, to, I'm trying to taste this for the last, like, I swear it's like half an hour now, but just roasting hot. So, um, I don't know if you saw, but I cooked a starter roti and I didn't even hold it with a cloth. I think I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah, so I, I think it's just, just something that I've gotten accustomed to. All right, so I'm just moving to play this on the north. I'm going to move the camera. Okay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> And I save some of the scallions to just top it for that extra freshness from the herbs. Because I love lots of scallions. Right. Zach, my wallop is better than your wallop. I, I can't find that because I'm not the one with online recipes. Oh, I love it. I'm sure. Watch me. I'm sure yours is tasting just as great. There we go, guys. There we go. This let is me, it. Yeah. Let me move back my arm. This is it. Yeah. Final, final results. Give it a little close up. Chicken, some fries, some hot peppers. Okay, guys. Tell me what do you think. I'm reading your comments now. Please remember to. Continue to share this video so everyone else who's watching after can donate to the link provided. Please remember to donate. It's for such a good cause. I myself, I donated. I donated my time and I also donated to the charity. So please, guys. Really, really uh, delicious. You oh, you know what, Zach? The garlic sauce. Oh yes, my garlic sauce. So Look, I just my, a, a little bit of garlic sauce over the top. I might probably. Amazing. <laughs> Look. 
Thank you, Mala. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Nalini. Thank you, James. So guys, how many of you are going to try this? I do have the pork version on my channel. All you have to do is swap out the pork for chicken. You guys saw how easy this was to put together. And thank you to Amco for donating or for sponsoring this. And thank you to French's. French's best ketchup. <laughs> if you wanted mustard on yours, of course you can. Yes, I actually love mustard. And I also have um, one of the, I've almost a good few of the mustards. I have the honey Dijon. Yeah. I have classic yellow. I have the honey mustard. Yeah, honey mustard is really good too. The Dijon, I love to put Dijon in, um, in potato That's salad. In a deli. Nice. So guys, did you all enjoy today's um, live? How many of you are going to make this? If you have the ingredients, guess what? Go we'll make it now. You just saw how we did it. So, Very simple. Yeah. So someone said that they have barbecue pork leftovers from, from yesterday and they want to try it. Of course, you can do that. Just chop up your barbecue um, into pieces. And what I would do is to, to still put that Chinese seasoning flavor in there because your barbecue wouldn't normally have that. You would put everything together. And when you're tossing your sauces, sprinkle some with your sauces because that seasoning does make a difference. That seasoning is a really nice seasoning. So Zach... Thank you so much Thank for joining you. me. I really appreciate your assistance. It came out beautiful. I can't wait to eat this because this is lunch and dinner, so we'll let off. Make sure and tell me what wifey says if she um if she likes it. She doesn't eat meat actually. And oh she my would, you she can would. make make a veggie version for her. I feel I'll do that. Yeah, because. guys, if you're watching like, like Zach, wife doesn't eat meat, make a veggie version. You don't have to add chicken. Or fried tofu or something like that. Yeah. That's on our tofu and black bean sauce kind of thing tossed up. Yeah, yeah. that. I think the possibilities are endless. So thank you again to Amco and Frenches for being our sponsors for today. Thank you to everyone who has joined. Please remember to share this video again. And please remember to donate. It is going to help a lot of families in need right now in Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks, guys. So we'll see you. Keep Stay tuned to Proper Eats um, Instagram page and Facebook pages as they will share who will be cooking next. So every day through the month of May, we're going to have celebrities and chefs cooking alongside each other. Um, please... Um, please remember to donate again, as I said. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Zach, for being such a good student. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. I'm going to take some pictures now and then... Yeah, we'll post it. I look forward to the pictures. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. Make you know sure go follow Zach if you're not following him already. You know Natasha on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? You're on Twitter as well. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> So see you guys. Have a safe rest of your evening. And we love you guys for watching. Take care and donate. Yes, make sure and donate. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.